Australia are through to the quarterfinals in the Women's World Cup following an impressive 2-0 victory over Denmark in the round of 16. Let's talk about it. Fantastic result. The journey continues for Australia. Heading into this game, we knew it was going to be tough. Denmark, a strong side with a very, very solid defense. And Australia were able to break through twice tonight. But for me, this was... Not Australia's best performance of the year, that's for sure. Uh, it wasn't as good of a performance as the Canada game, in my opinion, that's for sure as well. Denmark were very strong. They started brightly in this game and almost scored first. And there were a number of occasions where I was a little bit worried. I thought this might be one of those games where, uh, you know, we might struggle to create opportunities. We might struggle to get forward. Uh, Denmark might have uh, scored first. But uh, it wasn't to be in the end. The lineup that we played was the same lineup that we saw in that Canada game. Uh, Van Egmont and Mary Fowler starting up the top together through the middle. And it, it wasn't just those stealing the show. It was the wide plays. You know, Haley Rasso, uh, Caitlin Ford looking to push forward on the counter of the attack. And that's where we saw that first goal. While Denmark were looking pretty strong early on, Caitlin Ford off that fantastic pass from Mary Fowler. What a ball from Mary Fowler. One of the best passes that you will see at this tournament to feed Caitlin Ford. And that's the kind of area that Ford really flourishes in, uh, breaking a wound goal, using her pace and her dribbling ability. And then to finish through the legs of the keeper, absolutely fantastic. And then from there, going into the halftime sheds, feeling pretty confident, but obviously Denmark, we knew that they were going to throw things forward. Uh, they were pressing. They were pressing really, really hard. Pretty much all, you know, throughout the entire 90 minutes, Denmark were playing, were, were, were putting immense pressure on those Australian defenders when they had the ball. And it allowed Australia to get forward once again in that second half. And it was a matter of just taking our chances, I think, when we got forward. And another great piece of play, another through ball from Mary Fowler. Cooney Cross was involved in the build-up this time. Van Egmond with the with the composure and the calm mind in the box to lay it back to Haley Rasso to drive it home into the corner. Just fantastic. And the noise and the sights, you know, Australia, Stadium Australia was on their feet and and, and, and making so much noise, uh, which is so great to see. And there's a really positive vibe around the Matildas now. You know, that Nigeria result, the loss against Nigeria in that second group stage game feels like a pretty distant memory now. And the way it's heading for Australia, you know, 4 nil against Canada, 2-0 against Denmark. Next up, it's going to be either France or Morocco. And I tell you what, I mean, Morocco, you know, we can't underestimate them. They will be underdogs in that France game. Uh, and against the French, I mean, we know Australia have beaten France before. We did it in that World Cup warm-up match, defeating France 1-0. So we know how to beat the French. Really fascinated to see who we come up against. But uh, regardless of who it is, I'm feeling really confident. I'm feeling confident that Australia could make it through to the semifinals for the first time in World Cup history. It would be a massive achievement for Australia. But what a performance tonight from, from Australia. Again, not the prettiest performance. We had to do it the hard way. We had to do a lot of defending tonight. Uh, but well done to the girls for taking the opportunities when getting forward. Got to get behind the girls now and cheer them on. We've got the quarterfinal coming up on this coming Saturday up there in Brisbane. We, of course, will be doing the live watch along for that one as well. Let's go to the TLEs. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Lockheed. This is Coastwood Football. Drop your thoughts on this game down in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.